it's me, your boy Blue Gensiga, and today we'll be doing a banlist wish list and a banlist prediction vi video. First off, we're starting off with the prediction, so let's go. For the banned cards, I have Eradicated Epidemic Virus because this card honestly should have been banned a long time ago. It never should have gone to three, and I don't know what Konami was thinking. I said what I said meant every single solitary syllable. Now on to the limited cards. We have Runic Tip because it's a searcher and Runics are kind of cancer. But to actually give a real reason why I think this card would actually be limited is because it is a searcher and like all the Runic cards, it allows you to special summon a Runic Fusion from your extra deck. So I feel like limiting this deck's consistency is actually the best way to go about it about um, curbing the runic engine. Next we have Pearly Sleepy Memory and it's a really powerful card even with uh, I think Delicious Memory. Yeah even with Delicious Memory Limited Pearlies are still pretty strong. So I feel like limiting this card would actually I feel like it would curb the deck without actually outright killing it. I'm surprised Pearly did as well as it did without Delicious Memory, but I guess drawing three cards during your standby phase is pretty strong. Brilliant Fusion, because this card honestly should have come back by now. I feel like it could come, especially when they made the new Gem Knight support. The new Gem Knight support basically was, it felt like it was televising that Brilliant Fusion might actually come back. Then again, it is at one in the LCG, so... Anyways, I just wish the TCG would follow suit and actually bring this card back to one. Next is Pressure Planet Wraith Sloth. Wraith? Wraith Sloth? Oh. Look, here's the thing. Listen, I'll um, be honest with you. I, I'm kind of retarded. Anyways, this card is basically a searcher. It buffs your it buffs uh, your cash Terra monsters, and it allows you to pop cards. It does way too much, and it adds a lot of consistency for cash Terra. For the monsters, we have Cash Terra Fenrir because this card is in a lot of decks. We all know Konami hates cards like that, plus this card is also a searcher. As well as it does also double as monster. Yeah, it doubles as monster removal. It's like Pankertops, but not as great as Pankertops. And then we have Bestial Magmut because it's level six. It's easy Baron Baroness de Fleur fodder as well as it actually adds a search. So I could honestly see this card going at one, especially to hit Dragon Link. And yes, Dragon Link are still relevant even to this day. For the semi limits, we have Druid Swarm for similar reasons as Magnumut because. Dragon Links. And for the three of's, we have Red Rose Dragon because honestly, this card should have just gone back to three a long time ago. I mean, the card that abused it is gone. Yeah, also, I think it was abused in um, Sword Souls, but you know, Sword Souls got a whole bunch of indirect hits and it's no longer a relevant deck right now. So I feel like Red Rose could just come back to three and nothing would actually change. And then we have Cash Terra Unicorn because I feel like it's fine at three. It's not really going to do too many crazy things. Also, lastly, for the three of us, we have so some more Bird of Sovereignty because I feel like this card can come back since we already got rid of the Barrier Statue. And who's really going to play Apex Avion in just a random wing piece deck? For the wish list for the ban cards, we have Appaloosa because multiple negates are pretty cancer. He's out of line, but he's right. You is it pretty easy to bait it when it's on its own, but usually when people are playing Appaloosa, it's not really being on its own. Plus, Appaloosa could essentially shut down your turn if they manage to get enough counters on it. Hunter because hand loops are really bad. Eradicator, because this card honestly should not have gone to three. At one, it was already pretty busted, but at the same time, your chances of drawing it were very slim. But at three, I just feel like it's just nonsensical. For the limited cards, we have Brilliant Fusion. Like, I already went over why this card should at least come back to one. It's not as powerful as it used to be, and no one's going to really play the Predator Plant engine just for one Brilliant Fusion. For realsies. Next is Luandaries, the 
and the adv advent of adventure because this card basically just allows you to special summon not special summon but get allows you to add your field spell as well as allow you to dodge negations and hand traps i feel like this should go to one just as a consistency hit for a flu on Reese. Runic tip because I already went on as to why this card should go to one. Sleepy memory because I mean I already explained why as well. Like this card is really powerful and even without uh yeah, even without delicious memory, this deck is still really powerful. So I feel like putting this card to one would actually just help curb pearlies. Next, Runic Fountain, because fuck this card. This is a wish list, so this hit is not necessary, but I really do not like this card, so that's why I'm putting it here. Fuck you! Pressure Planet Race Soth, it does too much and it's really powerful and it helps with uh, Cashier's consistency. Magic Spectre Kirin, because what is it going to do today? Pendulums aren't that strong. Yo, why you bugging? Harpoor, because honestly, this card should have been unbanned a long time ago. Harpoor is not really going to be doing anything in the modern game. Not to mention, this card was banned before Master Rule 5, and is definitely not doing anything in Master Rule 5. Fenrir, because, you know, as a searcher, a lot of people play this deck in decks outside of Kashtera, and Konami generally does not like that. Next is Magnumut because Magnumut because it should honestly just go to one. It's a searcher plus it's a free level six body, so it basically allows you to go into your Baron de Fleur a lot easier. I guess you could argue the same thing with Druid Swarm, but I don't think Druid Swarm would actually go to one, but I wish it would go to one. Eva Gishke Gus Kraken because hand loops are absolute cancer. I hate hand loops so much. Also, wind up carrier to one because why not? Zeus to one. Granted, I don't really care about Zeus anymore, but it is kind of ridiculous. So just out a single Zeus, and then your opponent just summons another one, and then another one on top of that. It's pretty dumb. Colossus, because I don't think Colossus would actually be that much of a problem, especially at 1. Plus, Thunder Dragons need a little bit of something, so. For the two of us, we have two Called by the Graves, because why not? And two Trish, because again, we do not need, hand we don't need more hand loops. I feel like 1 and 2 are just enough. 3 was too much. And for the three O's, we have Gazelle because Salmon Great somehow got power crept. And Red Rose Dragon because it's honestly not doing anything, so it should just come back to three. I don't understand why it's still at. Yeah, I don't understand why it's still at one. Never should have went to one in the first place, but I guess. Bird of, so Bird of Sovereignty, this card honestly should just come back to three because, I mean. It's like barrier statue is gone, so you don't have to worry about people dropping a barrier statue on on the end of your turn, thus stopping your opponent from playing Yu-Gi-Oh! unless they're playing a wind-based deck. And lastly, Ancient Fairy Dragon, because let's be real, who is actually going to be playing multiples of this card? I feel like it should come back to three instead of just wasting space on the limited list. Anyways, tell me what you guys think about my ban list and wish list, and it's been me, your boy Blue Getsuga. And I'm out. You're all free now!